Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Predator Halos Neo 16 laptop and the exact the model for this one is, is an N22Q22 that information can be found on the bottom stick of the laptop or you should know your own laptop anyway in this laptop in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the RAM modules in this one if you want to upgrade yours you can do it you can press 232 up to 64 gig was we called the service support and they're like i know you can't go up to 32 16 gig is maximum or they give you some bogus number whatever you call them or you go to the forms we have upgraded this laptops in the past up to 64 gig with no problem with no issue in this video i'm going to cover you how to get to those modules how to replace them correctly uh, just remember by replacing the RAM, upgrading the RAM, you're not going to have to do any configuration, anything like that. It's all being set by the BIOS automatically. It will auto adjust itself. No configuration is required. All right. So don't need to worry about the files and backing up and stuff. So that's all safe. As long as you power off completely the laptop, then you're more than fine. So first thing first, back up the, I mean, power off the laptop. Flip it upside down. I'm going to go over the tools I'll be using and I'll leave the compatible RAMs that we recommend for this brand on the video description in case you want to purchase with the tools that we be using. I purchased myself this iFixit screwdriver set. We're going to use a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable for putting cases on covers in this case, and it will not scratch the covers or anything like that. Unlike these other opening tools that are really rigged edges, and it can actually, I can cut myself with this one, but with a guitar pick, there is no way I can cut myself with this one. So that's why I like using guitar picks over anything else. All right, with all this set, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There's no head in the screws. So we're gonna start from one corner, and we're gonna remove the screws one by one and keep them in a single pile as they are all the same size and height. All right, so I'm gonna just fast forward this part and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I would be really greatly appreciate it. It helps and supports the channel and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed the screws. What you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool, the guitar pick, and we always start in the front of the laptop in this case, because we know that on the back there's an I.O. side, there's a motherboard and stuff that, and we don't want to stick the whole guitar pick in there and we can create a short. So what we do in the front, I know that there's a speaker and there's a battery. So we're going to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. What you want to do, you want to twist it. You're going to hear big click sound. Those are the clips are getting loosened up. You want to work yourself all across in the front, and you see that gap is opening. Work yourself on the cross on the side, and do the other side. This is a pretty heavy laptop. I'm pretty big too. So I'm going to work in here. I see that thing opening up. Work real up to the fan. It's not getting it, it's not budging it. There we go. And there we have it. Once you do the front and the side, what you want to do, you want to put it down. You want to grab from the front. You want to work it around while I'm pulling it up and gently it will just snap the back flex and clips out. And there's the bottom uh, cover. And the battery is right in front of you in here. The battery is not being held down by not even a single screw. It just loosened up like this. It does have a screw hold. That means it's meant for different models too. But they just lift the battery, loosen up in here. Who knows why, but yeah. All right, the RAMs are right here. There's a two RAM dims. There's only one installed, and they put this one in here. You want to remove it. It's kind of heat sprayer too for the RAMs. So we're gonna put this to one side. You do not need to disconnect the battery to the RAM upgrade. There's a gaffer tape in here. But if you want to disconnect the battery, you want to pull these two jacks back, just like straight back. Don't pull it uh, sideways. And when you put it back in, you want to put it straight in, just like that, straight in. And you want to put the gaffer straight in. 
But for the storage upgrade or RAM upgrade, you do not need to disconnect the battery. That's absolutely not necessary. Unless you think that you're going to drop a screwdriver or something over the motherboard, then sure, go ahead and remove it. You see one module right in here. To remove the module, what you want to do, you want to put your fingers on the side of these figures. There's two, two of them right in here. These are flexible. And you want to pull them away from each other. Oh, and the RAM just came out really quick. So let's put it back in. So once you pull it, the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle, just like this. What you want to do, you, want, you don't want to yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break it. You want to slide it back in the same direction that you remove, right? And this RAM, it is covered with this tape. Uh, but these are DDR5 RAMs. You can use a 16 gig module. So you can grab another 16 gig module RAM. I don't have one on hand right here. Is a DDR4. Let me see if I have any DDR5 here. Yeah, I have one DDR5. All right, there's a DDR5 RAM mistake. You want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So you want to grab the new RAM. If I put it like this, it's not going to go through because the notches are not matching the cuts. So I'll flip it over. Doesn't matter the orientation of the RAM chips. Or this one has both sides. Has only one side has it. So you might have both side uh, memories or one side of a matter. As long as the notch matches, you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle inside the connector all the way in and simply push it towards the motherboard. And you're going to hear these two triggers open and close, just like that softly. If the triggers don't close softly and don't stay straight, that means your RAM is not in place. Again, same thing in here. You have to find the right position, 45 degree, push it towards the motherboard, and it will snap into place. If you want to, on the new RAM, you can put this one on top to dissipate the heat a little bit. And there we have it. And this is how you upgrade the RAM. Now, let's say you put another 16 gig in here. You have 16 gig in here. You power on. You want to wait up to 30, 40 seconds for the screen to show up anything because it's going to do a RAM check. After one minute, if you still don't get anything on the screen, you want to switch the RAM display. Put the old one in the second DIMM, put the new one in here and power on. And that way, the motherboard will be forced to do a MEM check. Okay, that's called a memory check. If you have plugged in the batch, unplugged it, plug it back in. To do the RAM test, you don't need to put the back cover on. You can do it without the back cover uh, connected. So you can just open the laptop in 45 degree angle and test it out. All right. Next, once you finish with this one, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to bring it from the back towards the front. Push it down. Push the corners. Make sure you hear those nice big click sounds. On the back, you're going to see a gap opening. You want to pinch it, and it will snap to its place. That's what you want to do. And to finish it off is to put the bottom screws all over the place on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own RAM upgrade for your uh, laptop Predator Halo Neo 16 model. As always, if you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.